Hi all, it's Sofan from TechCycle. In this video, we are going to look at Toonskit iOS recovery software. It's one of the software which will help you to fix lot of iOS issues that you are going to face like stuck at Apple logo, stuck at recovery mode, black screen, boot loop, all that sort of issues on your iPhone can be fixed by using this Toonskit iOS system recovery software. And thanks for Toonskit for sponsoring this video this video is a sponsored video and they did provide me with a 20 percent discount code for this application and you can use that code to get this application at a discounted rate right after watching this video so let's jump into this application you can download this application from their website which is linked in the description you can just click that and you can just check out the website and download this application from there there is a trial version and personally i didn't test that trial version so i don't know much about that but i'm going to share you guys the thought regarding the full version of this application so as you can see the interface of the application is very simple and it is very clean and minimalist it shows all the issues that can be fixed and just a start button to fix the issue next press the start option and there is the two mode by which you can use this application to fix the issue first one is the standard mode second one is the advanced mode the only difference is that on standard mode it's not going to erase the data on your iphone while on the advanced mode it's going to delete all your data so it's going to completely erase your iphone and it will be good as new iphone so first try the standard mode on your device and if it is not fixing the issues then you can just jump into the advanced mode so i'm going to choose the standard mode and next from the model list choose the model of your device next it is going to show you guys a graphical window or graphical tutorial to boot your device into dfe mode or you can click the link at the bottom to show a diagram of how to boot your device into recovery mode personally i prefer you guys to use the dfe mode because dfe mode is better for this type of purpose that is for reinstalling the ios or for fixing the issues so put your device into dfe mode then press next and it's going to show you guys a page where you can confirm your device model as well as the ios version to download then just press download after downloading the firmware package it's going to install that firmware package and your device is going to boot back and uh, all the issues that you are going to face will be solved by using this method what this Toonskit application is doing is that it is just installing the ios firmware or ios update to your device and the standard mode is going to update your device and while the advanced mode is going to reset your iphone and it's going to install the package so we can use the itunes application to do the same thing and i'm going to share you guys that on itunes if you open the itunes as my device is still in the dfu mode showing this and if i just click my device section and there is this restore iphone option as my device is in dfe mode it's only showing the restore iphone option and if you press the restore iphone it's going to show you guys all the things that is the warning and everything that is your media is going to be deleted it is same as that of the advanced mode heard by this tone skate application and if you boot your device into recovery mode on itunes there is two options first one is the update option second one is the restore iphone option which is same as the one that I mentioned earlier and if I press the update option it's going to install the latest iOS version on your device without removing any data which is same as that of the standard mode provided by this Toonskit application so all the options provided by Toonskit application can be done with the iTunes application and iTunes is free. Main difference between Toonskit and iTunes is that on Toonskit everything is in front of your screen. You don't need to Google anything. Everything is shown on the application itself. While on iTunes you may want to search Google. 
so that's it that's all about this uh, video guys i hope you guys find this video useful if you do so the like button and don't forget to subscribe